Hey guys, so I'm here to do a general love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Some of you already know me from the Cartomancy Seer. I had some channel issues, so I made a change, and this is where all your content will be uploaded at now. Um, for those of you that are new here, welcome. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. So I'll do a you versus them spread here. Um, the first energy I will say is yours, the second should be the person on your mind. If they're fitting better than the opposite, just go ahead and switch sides. That goes the same for cross watchers. Um, keep in mind that the messages are general, they're for the collective. And so if something here doesn't resonate, I want you to just discard it and leave it for someone who does need to hear it and remember that there is no gender in Tarot. If you need to book a private personal reading, that information's in the description below, as well in the pinned section of the comments. Yeah, please have the overall energy for Gemini and Love. Thank you. And if give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. Current energy and love for Gemini, please. Overall energy is the Knight of Pentacles. The Six of Swords. Five of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. The Four of Swords. Swords. The lovers, Gemini energy, Seven of Cups, Queen of Wands. Death, that's Scorpio energy. Out of the deck, we have the Three of Wands. My goodness. I feel like you've been trying for a really, really long time to make a connection that's a little chaotic, be a little calmer. Um, or to be able to just, I don't know, I feel like you're in a connection where you feel left out. It's like you could be in the same room with the person and like you're not even there. Like avoidant, you know? And it's causing a lot of stress and anxiety and right now you're really thinking, I want to get out of here, but I'm stuck. Maybe you feel like almost like you've been, you know, under like a love spell. <laughs> I know that sounds funny, but you know what I mean, where it's like you thought you were like really, really deeply like connected to somebody, but 
Instead, there's like a lot of confusion because the, you know, the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Swords, confused, anxious, not knowing what the hell is going on. The Seven of Swords, confusion, anxiety, you know. I feel like you're, you're like waiting to work up the courage to walk out on somebody. Or maybe you're just waiting for things to change. Either way, it's like you're waiting to see if things change, and if they don't, you're about to bounce. That's how I see it. You're just tired of being confused at this point. All right, let me get Gemini's person's energy, please. Okay. Overall energy is the Six of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Judgment, Scorpio energy, the Harfant, Taurus energy, the Fool, Aquarius energy, the Queen of Pentacles, Earth energy, the Sun, Leo energy, the Page of Cups, the Nine of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and at the bottom of the deck, the Nine of Cups. It's kind of interesting. I feel like you have, like, sort of pulled back your energy, but it's more out of, like, you're confused. You don't know what to say or do. So you're being kind of distant. And so, yeah, this person is feeling like you're breadcrumbed and, and focused on something else or, like, focused on ending this. It's sort of like... They're worried that you're going to end things, and now they're trying to focus on how to give you what you want or like you know the six of pentacles how to give fairly here it's interesting because i feel like deeply this person's like real feelings are that you're worth it all this queen of pentacles energy and I feel like low-key that they're very happy with you and they probably even would want to marry you, but maybe they literally fear commitment. Maybe they're not used to having to commit. Um, they're used to just having their freedom and being able to do whatever they want to do. And so, you know, it's more like they kind of give little when it comes to the emotions. They almost don't even say how they feel. I do think that they know, though, that they have these, like, inconsistent tendencies and at times that they can be selfish. And I feel like they're trying to overcome that, but I, I feel like the vulnerability is a problem for this person. It's almost like you're waiting for this person to give to you in the manner that they're saying that they feel like, but you're not seeing it being shown to you. It's like they're saying, like, you know, that they're in love with you, that they're happy with you, that they don't want anybody but you, you know? But they still, it's like maybe the actions don't always match up, or it's like they don't open up enough or come off vulnerable enough for you to actually understand that you are what they want. Which is a pain in the ass. That's why there's so much confusion here. It's like you say one thing, but like, you're not actually making me feel like how you're saying things are. But I do feel that this person wants to fix things. You know, they want to be forgiven. They're offering the commitment. It's just that I fear for you. It's like 
maybe what's happening here is like you want to accept it, but you're going to wait a little bit. And if nothing changes, you're, re you're really going to go. The only reason that you're waiting is because this person is possibly like saying that they will put in the work or make the changes here, you know? All right, what's coming up here for Gemini? I don't know about, oh, goodness. Okay, so we have the Empress, that's the overall energy. Libra Taurus energy. The Queen of Swords, 10 of Pentacles. Two of Cups, Six of Cups, the Knight of Swords, the High Priestess, Cancer Pisces, <clears throat> the Eight of Wands, the King of Cups, Three of Swords, Bottom of the deck, the Ten of Swords. like I said I feel like some of you already have chosen to give the relationship a chance it's like I'll wait and if I don't see any change I'm gonna go and so you allow this new thing to happen here and for some of you with the Empress card maybe you're pregnant if you are congratulations um, but obviously that's a huge step um, I feel like you just come out and say it to this person. Honestly, I feel like you just give them an, an ultimatum. Because to me, this looks like somebody who knows that they deserve this position. This is their position. I'm the Empress. You're not going to treat me like everyone else. I'm Queen of Swords, I have boundaries. And it's like clear communication, like I'm looking to really like be in a committed long-term relationship. This is like, you know, marriage cards. And in the past, you've been really inconsistent. There's been some stuff kept for me. Everything's been really confusing and mysterious, you know? Now, either moving forward, you need to open up or we're just, I'm just going to leave. It's, it's like the threaten, the threatening of leaving. Just telling this person straight up, I will leave you. So it's like giving a person a chance, but making sure they understand where that boundary is. <clears throat> but trying, you know? What's the advice here? It's, it's like you just putting your foot down, there won't be, you know, moving forward, there won't be any nonsense. Because I don't feel like this person, I feel like this person's done some nonsense a couple of times to you here, Gemini. There's ten swords here, three here. You're not coming from a place like a jerk. You're coming from a place where this person already hurt you. They're not going to do it another time. This is a solid boundary. Like either we're a family or I'm out. <laughs> and I think you mean it. It's like you will literally stop talking to this person. The High Priestess, the Eight of Wands, King of Cups. Three of Swords, Ten of Swords. We have the Ace of Swords. Seven of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, like the advice is the same thing that you're saying. It's like you need to demand the truth and you need to demand some type of evidence that like you're not wasting your time here. It's like you, you know, you know your worth and you need to make sure that somebody is representing that, you know, that that what you're putting out there you're getting back. So it's almost like this person asks to come back and you, you're you fine with that as long as they can be accountable and show you some type of change. But in the advice, it's like if they can't take the accountability, then it's not even what you're looking for. Make sure that they, they, take, that they become accountable for whatever has been done here so it does not happen again. And make sure that, you know, it's not just the words that this person's backing it up. You know, these two cards together, like, put your money where your mouth is. Okay, we have your commitment is being tested. And the end of a tough cycle approaches. Capricorn energy. Yeah, I feel like <clears throat> you're going to put your foot down and it's okay with you if this person and you are done, but, you know, they're not, you know, it's, it's like I put all this effort in, like either I'm getting it back or I'm just done, period. And I feel like, you know, before they... You know when you feel like you you know you set that boundary and it's like maybe the first time you were just too and stupid to know, you know, <laughs> or maybe the, a couple of times now you've said or done something that hurt my feelings and I don't really like that, you know, and I'm not gonna let it get to this ten swords or I'm just gonna ten swords it now, like I'll just go, you know. But I feel like you're tired of the tough part of this love and that in the current. It just feels like this constant like uphill battle and a lot of confusion, you know, and then unless a person is going to straight up give you the clarity that you need and commit properly, like they can kick rocks, period. 